Here with Dance Rocks, I'm Jo, and it's lovely to have you here with us in our cosy little story corner. So, today we're in London, but we're lost in London, and we're with the dog detectives. I don't know if you know, but I have a lovely little puppy. Well, she's not a puppy anymore, but I still call her that. Sunny, I love dogs, so I thought this was a lovely story to find out all about these dog detectives. So it says the dog detectives are cycling through the busy streets of London when they crash into a new case. Can you help the dog detectives solve the riddle of the missing ravens? Well, let us find out if we can help. Here we go. Lost in London, what a place to be. So much to do, so much to see. History, mystery, and underground trains. Giant red buses and cobblestone lanes. Amid the whiz and the whir of the busy old streets, animals scurry, flutter, and sleep. The most famous of all are kept in a tower. Six black ravens with mystical powers. There is a legend that says the ravens must stay or the Tower of London will crumble and the kingdom decay. The six ravens were watching the sunset over London when a bat swooped down from above. You looked bored, he said. Want to play hide and seek? That sounds fun, replied Thor, the loudest raven of all. But we're not allowed to leave the tower. Don't worry, said the bat. I promise to find you all before bedtime. I'll start counting. One, two, three. Next morning, the dog detectives, Detective Jack and Deputy Poco Loco, were a fox trot away when... Halt! A police officer shouted. Detective Jack swerved and tumbled into a newspaper stand. London is doomed, cried the officer. We must find the ravens. Fear not, said Detective Jack. We'll have this case wrapped up in time for afternoon tea. You can bet your biscuit on it. They raced along the River Thames to the London Eye. Top of the morning to you, came a voice from the ticket desk. I'm the Rat Riddler, the eyes and ears of the city. Do you know about the missing ravens? asked Detective Jack. Like a genie, I'll give you three clues, said the Rat Riddler. Clue number one, I have a face and two hands but cannot walk. I count to twelve but cannot talk. What am I? A clock, said Detective Jack. A clock has a face and two hands and counts to twelve. Your answer is right on time, said the Rat Riddler. They jumped on a bus and headed towards Big Ben, the biggest clock tower of all. The dog detectives looked up and found the first missing raven. Now for clue number two, said the Rat Riddler. She wears a crown upon her head and falls asleep in a royal bed. Hmm, who could fall asleep in a royal bed? That's easy, said Deputy Poco Loco, wagging his tail. The Queen wears a crown and sleeps in a royal bed. The team cycled to the gates of Buckingham Palace and spotted the second missing raven. Smashing, said the Rat Riddler. And now for my final clue. I wear bark, grow leaves and shade parks. What am I? A tree wears bark, grows leaves and shades parks, cried Deputy Poco Loco. The dock detectives pedalled full tilt through the parks of London until high in the treetops they saw the third missing raven. What better place to hide than Hyde Park, said Detective Jack. Deputy Poco Loco scratched his ears. If I were a raven, I'd hide somewhere busy and loud to be hidden away in the bustling crowd. The team wormed their way through the red buses and honking black cars. There among the clatter and chatter of Trafalgar Square was the fourth missing raven. Well done, deputy, said Detective Jack. 
If I were a raven, I'd feel right at home, nestled high up in the roof of a dome. The team jumped back on their bikes and hot-dogged it to the biggest dome in the city. They ran up the steps of St Paul's Cathedral and pushed open the heavy wooden doors. Blending into the magnificent dome was the fifth missing raven. Only one more to find. The team circled the city in search of the final missing raven. They found bats beneath bridges, a spattering of sparrows, and a family of foxes, but no raven. There was Thor, the la So where was Thor, the loudest raven of all? It's almost time for afternoon tea, said Detective Jack, rubbing his belly. Could you please give us one more clue? Well, I guess. I see. I do suppose, said the Rat Riddler, what's lost is right beneath your nose. The dog detectives knew there was one place they hadn't searched. They whizzed down into the London Underground for a shortcut across the city. There, waiting patiently at the Tower of London, was Thor, the last missing raven. Looks like I'm the winner of hide and seek, Thor said proudly. The Rat Riddler smiled. Sometimes the hardest thing to find is right under your nose. Well, now that's London safe and sound, said Detective Jack. Here's a riddle for all of you. What starts with a T and ends with a T and has a T in it? A teapot! The end. So they were very clever dog detectives, weren't they? Finding the missing ravens so everything in London could be safe and sound again. So thank you for joining us for a story. Hope you enjoyed it and see you again soon.